This is a story about how Torbay Hospital has improved the care for patients with hip fractures during 2010 and 2011. A project team was set up to plan the changes, aiming to improve pain control and reduce waiting time before surgery. This film shows what's been done. The first thing that happens is we get a phone call from the paramedics um, and they let us know that they're bringing in somebody who they think has got a broken hip. Um, we ask them a few questions just to get a bit more of a, um, a handover so we know what to expect and then we arrange to meet them at the doors at A&E. Right, a couple of little bumps here, look. Ready? One and two. We receive a handover from them then, which um, gives us that information which is vital about maybe their social circumstances and exactly how the fall happened. This is lovely um, Stella, Stella Jones, who's 90. Um, she was out shopping in Newton Abbott and bless her, she tripped over a curb, so an uncomplicated mechanical fall. Well, for my job, it means I can hand over the patient um, normally within five minutes of arriving at hospital and be clear and have the ambulance available for other patients. Now, sometimes in casualty, we can be waiting a good half an hour for a handover and minimising that time um, is a benefit not only to our patient, but our next patient. We're looking after them then in A&E, so we help to transfer them onto a trolley and we do a quick assessment to make sure that they're OK before... Um, getting them really to x-ray as quickly as possible to find out exactly what they've done to their hip, if anything. Um, we stay with them throughout that process, we escort them to x-ray. Okay, so previously a patient probably would have waited a little while to come to x-ray in the first place, and, but now because of the teamwork and the pathway we prioritise any patient with a suspected hip fracture. that x rayed fairly quickly, there is a pretty much instantaneous picture on the screen for a consultant to look at, and they're speeding up their trip to theatre and their recovery time. Hello, my love. Could you just tell me your name, please? Stella Jones. Hello. Can you tell me your date of birth as well? 4th of July, 1921. I understand you've had a bit of a fall. Yes. And you've yes. hurt your left hip. How my love. Have you had any operations on your hip before? No, never. OK, then. So what we're going to need to do is to lie you down flat just for a couple of minutes okay. while we take some pictures. All right? right? Yes. OK, so Stella's been brought in by ambulance to Torbay Hospital today after having a fall. Um, the trauma nurse has assessed her and suspects she may have broken her hip. So they've come to x-ray where we're going to take a quick couple of pictures just to assess and these pictures will go onto a computer system and they can be viewed remotely by one of the consultants Absolutely. to make a decision whether or not she needs surgery today. Once we've got an x-ray we then start to bring in other people's opinions, the consultant for the day and for them to make a decision really about if they need surgery and what type and then it really that's when the rest of the process starts happening. We try and let everybody know that needs to know and we would plan then for the patient to be moved up to our optimisation area in theatre recovery, which is where we pair them really for theatre if that's what's going to happen, um, explaining all along the way really. I as a consultant and will be called by the trauma coordinator to come and assess them. Uh, look at any specific factors which are important for an anaesthetic and prepare them for their, for their forthcoming operation. Um, in particular we look at their past medical history, any drug history, uh, especially warfarin which we need to treat specifically in order to get them to theatre quickly with things like vitamin K and Beriplex. Um, we we will also to do their ECG um, blood results and make sure that they are fully ready for theatre. Hi, Mrs Jones. I'm Rob Lofthouse. I'm one of the orthopaedic consultants. Yeah. Claire's told me that you had a fall and you've injured your hip. Before we started this uh, new process, patients were often coming in with broken hips and waiting a day, sometimes as, many, as much as two days before they had their operations. And I think we all felt that it wasn't ideal and I think sometimes we could visibly see them going downhill while they were waiting for their operation. So since we've started doing this, We've operated on some people in as little as two or three hours from when they've been brought into hospital. Um, it, it makes the surgery easier in a way, having a fitter patient, a fresh injury. The, the skin and the general patient's condition is usually much better and I think that makes for a better, quicker operation. Um, and then the biggest difference is seeing them on the ward the next day after they come in, often sitting out of bed eating breakfast. And it's something that we never used to see before. Often by the time patients had had their operations, they weren't in a fit enough condition to sort of sit out as easily afterwards. And I think it's just a really rewarding thing for us looking after the patient. And, and obviously it goes without saying that for the patient too.
As a theatre coordinator, we have to liaise with the other coordinators, like the trauma coordinator and the other team leaders, um, for the smooth running of theatres. But with this uh, process come in, uh, we have liaised even more closely to make theatres available at short notice, uh, as and when the patients come in. And we try our best to make it possible uh, for the patients to be get done immediately, if not the next day. Uh, for it's improved for us, uh, as in we've come closer as a team, I feel, and liaised more closely. And for the patients, it has improved definitely because their waiting times come down uh, and their post-op outcome must definitely be better because we are supposed to operate on them within 24 hours, which um, used to be quite delayed in the past. But now with this process come in and with everybody in chipping in, um, it uh, does seem quite a lot faster. And it is a great feeling at the end of the day. The day after an operation to repair a fractured hip at Torbay, patients are helped to get out of bed and begin to mobilise with the assistance of physiotherapists. Morning Stella, I'm Bernie, I'm one of the physios. This is Helen. Hello, Hello. Stella. When we're going to get people out of bed for the first time, we, we try and go and see them the morning after their surgery. If they're well enough, so if their blood pressure and everything's been okay and there haven't been any complications, then the plan is to try and get them out, um, sit them out in the chair. Uh, for some patients, if they're very good, then we will try and have a little walk with them that day. Often we get them out of bed and leave them sat out for an hour or two and then we may go back to see them later in the day, um, have a little practice at walking. If they're doing really well, then they could start walking out towards the bathroom, to the toilet with the nursing staff. And again, we'll often go back and see them in the afternoon to have further practice. So little and often tends to be better for patients and so you don't tire them out too quickly. We're looking much more at getting people directly home from hospital rather than transferring them to peripheral hospitals. Um, so the, uh, we're doing a lot more work um, around providing people with equipment, getting them safely home, possibly getting the home ready and um, getting any support in place that needs to be in place. Before we started, the average time that people would wait for uh, an operation um, this type would be 46 hours uh, and uh, that has gone up and down a bit but currently we're down to about 16 hours on average and the, the length of stay similarly uh, drop from about 10 days down to about 6. We couldn't do this without the involvement of all of those people um, and um, uh, that's absolutely critical. E even the people that are sometimes perceived to be quite low in the hierarchy, they are absolutely critical to making it work. I found the whole experience um, very, very positive, very positive in all respects. That is to say, the way the whole process of the treatment flowed from start to finish in that short time that I was here. How everything was attended to, the, the control of pain, um, the gen general care uh, and being looked after and reassured and uh, yeah, it, it was a very, very positive process. Yeah, I, I got nothing but praise for the staff. Um, and their dedication, you know, to my care, absolutely brilliant, yeah.